It's been a while since I've made a video, mostly because I've been moving, but also because I kind of finished up all the mods 10 and I wasn't really sure what else to make. However, one of the biggest questions that I've gotten since I sort of slowed down the production of all the mods 10 videos was, hey, John, you showed us how to build a server for all the mods 10 and you showed us how to play all the mods 10, but we still have no idea how to update our server for all the mods 10. So I'm going to try my very best in this video to show you exactly how I go through and update my community all the mods 10 server so that you can hopefully follow along and do the same thing for yours. I'm going to try to keep it as simple as possible. Hope you enjoy the video. Let's get into it. OK, so right here, what we have is just a basic Windows machine that I've gone through and I have installed an all the mods 10 server on. This happens to be the community server that I run for my Discord. But I want to mention that this process that I'm about to go through here works whether you're on Windows, Linux, or even if you're using a hosting service, as long as they allow you to upload files, this process right here will work. So step number one, we're going to go into the server and we're going to turn it off. Usually you can just type stop in there. It'll stop the server. A lot of times it'll try to automatically restart, but you can just close out of it and it'll be stopped. Now, right in here, we have all of our server files. In general, we're going to use this start server script to launch the server itself. And then the rest of these files in here are just important dependencies that the server itself needs. Now, based on my downloads, I can see that the last server version that I installed was all the mods 10 version 3.0. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up a browser. We're going to look for all the mods 10. We go to the CurseForge page for it. Underneath files, we're going to find the latest version, which is a 3.2, select it. And then down here under additional files, we're going to click on that and you'll see server files 3.2. That's what we're going to download. It takes a couple seconds for it to start, but once it starts downloading, it downloads pretty quick. Looks like this update is about 1.1 gigs and it's not very large, but some of these can get pretty big. All right, there we have it. It is now completely downloaded. Go back to our downloads folder here. Right click it, we're going to go to properties, check this unblock box here and click apply and go back to it. We're going to click extract all. Click extract on there and it's basically just going to unarchive all of those files into a folder of the exact same name that's just not compressed. Now, because there are just a very, very large number of files in these folders, it can take a little bit, especially at the beginning. The last part seems to go pretty quick once it's doing the mods folder, but the beginning part seems to be a little bit slow. All right, there it is completely unarchived. So next, we're going to actually go into this folder and we are going to double click this start server dot bat. So it should just be labeled start server. If you go into view and you check the file name extensions, it'll show that it's a start server dot bat. The reason we're doing this is because there are a lot of dependencies that needed to be downloaded in order for us to upgrade and update our current instance on our server of all the mods 10. So what we're looking for here is for it to download and install everything and get to that right there where it said, you can delete this file now if you want to. Give me two seconds and I'll show that. It's pretty quick. Here it is. Server installed successfully. You can delete this installer file now if you wish. That's all you need to have done. From there, you can cancel this, close it, don't need anything else there. So basically what we have here now is a fully functioning all the mods 10 version 3.2 server. Now, how do we update our current server that's on version three to 3.2? All right, I moved my camera so that you can actually see this, but basically what we're gonna have here is on the left, we're gonna have the server files that we just set up. And on the right, we're going to have our current server with all of the files in it that have been there since we set up the server effectively. Now, there are exactly six folders that you're going to need to copy and replace. But before I get into that, what I would like you to do and know is that all the mods 10, first of all, does not guarantee compatibility between versions. Second, that all the mods has even admitted that there can be some sort of crashes and world corruption and all of that when you're updating your servers. I will say I've never had that issue, but I would highly recommend going in and completely backing up your world folder. Or better yet, if you can, completely back up your server files folder. So take your server folder, copy it, take it somewhere else and paste it and let it actually put everything there. So what we're gonna do next is you're gonna go to your original server. Your server is currently on version three. We're gonna copy the config, default configs, kubejs, libraries, mods, and pack menu. Those six folders right there. Right click, click cut, 
I also tend to just create a new folder for these so that if I ever wanna go back a version, I can. We're gonna name this folder 3.0 because that's the version that this applied to. We're gonna paste these six folders in here and then we're gonna take the six folders that correspond to those, which would be pack menu, mods, libraries, cube.js, default configs and configs. We're gonna click cut from this one from your server 3.2 and we're gonna put them into your actual server folder. Now from here, there is one extra thing that we need to do. If you notice right here, version 3.2 is based off of 21.1.74 of NeoForge. Now, when I first set up this All The Mods 10 server, the version of NeoForge was 21.1.73, obviously different, and you wouldn't think it would have a big effect. However, in your start server.bat, it specifies the version of NeoForge that you're using. So it looks like the version of NeoForge for 3.0 was 21.1.172. So what we have to do is come in here, change this to 174, which again is a version of NeoForge that you're downloading with the updated version. So inside of your start server.bat, change it to 21.1.174 to correspond with the new version of NeoForge. Control save or file save. Close out of that and you now should be able to double click your start server.bat and it will launch all the mods 10, but the new version. Now, like they always do, it's gonna take a little bit of time for this to all fully load up, but the files that you copied over are the ones that are needed to update the server, and the files that you left are the ones that are related specifically to your world and any data surrounding them. What's in your backpacks, what achievements you have. By using this method, all of that information should stay. So from there, all we really have to do is go into our Curse Forge, click the change version button, select the version, make sure we're doing 3.2, click continue and it will update. As you can see, dedicated server took 82 seconds to load. Server starts, fully updated, ready to go. So there you have it. That's the full process for how to update an All The Mods 10 server. And it allows you to keep your entire world, all of your achievements, all of the information and data surrounding your players, while at the same time getting all of the new mods and all of the new config changes that All The Mods 10 makes from one version to the next. Hopefully you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, feel free to like and subscribe. Also, while you're down there, don't forget to hit the notification bell. I've streamed quite a bit and you don't want to miss it. But that's going to do it for this video. Don't forget, you're special. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.